Welcome to Teacher Sally YouTube channel. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I'm Rosalie Custodio, your teacher in grade 9 science. Before we start, make sure you have with you your module, pen, and your notebook to take down important notes. Today, I will discuss new lesson. So sit back, relax, and enjoy learning. One of the exciting things about expecting a child is wondering if the baby will be a boy or a girl. There are many superstitions about how one might influence or predict the outcome, but what really determines if a baby is male or female? Do you know that the gender of a baby is determined by a special pair of chromosomes known as the sex chromosomes? Let us find out more about sex chromosomes and sex determination in this lesson. Learning Objective First, discuss how sex in human is determined. Second, determine the probability of having male or female gender. Let's recall. Directions each set of pictures share a common word. Use the jumbled letters and the hint to find out the word. Number one, it occurs when both alleles are expressed equally in the phenotype of the heterocyte. Answer the question in five seconds. Timer starts now. That's correct. The answer is co-dominance. Number two, it occurs when the phenotype of heterozygous offspring is somewhere in between the phenotype of both homozygous parents. A completely dominant allele does not occur. Timer starts now. Again, you may comment down your answer. The answer is incomplete dominance. Good job! Number three, it occurs when there are more than two alleles that are possible to code for any one characteristic. Timer starts now. Excellent! The answer is multiple allele. Let's explore. Chromosomes are thread-like molecules that carry hereditary information for everything from height to eye color. They are made of protein and one molecule of DNA, which contains an organism's genetic instructions passed down from parents. In humans, animals, and plants, most chromosomes are arranged in pairs within the nucleus of a cell. Let us organize the human chromosomes into pairs. How many pairs will there be? Humans have 22 pairs of chromosomes and these are called autosomes. Which pair of chromosomes do not match exactly? Well done! We have found a non-matching pair. The 23rd pair of human chromosomes is special. These are called the sex chromosomes. They control whether a baby develops into a boy or a girl. How is the sex of a child determined? Let's elaborate. What are chromosomes? Chromosomes are long strands of genetic information located in the nuclei of the cells. Chromosomes are most visible during cell division when they replicate and look like this. You will see chromosomes represented both ways. In cells, chromosomes are matching pairs based on their size and shape. Matching pairs of chromosomes are called the homologous chromosomes. Where do homologous chromosomes come from? Each pair of homologous chromosomes contain one chromosome that has been inherited from each parent. So this is the chromosome from female parent and this is the chromosome from male parent. In human body cells, there are a total of 46 chromosomes. How many pairs of homologous chromosomes are there in the human body cells? Yes, you are right. 23 pairs of chromosomes. 
You inherit half your chromosomes from your mother and half from your father. Now, how many chromosomes do you inherit from each parent? Great! 23 unpaired chromosomes. Eukaryotes have multiple linear chromosomes in a number characteristic of the species. Most have two versions of each chromosome, and so are diploid. Diploid cells are produced by haploid gametes that fuse to form a zygote. The zygote then undergoes development, forming a new individual. Examples of diploid organisms are human, having 23 pairs, and Drosophila melanogaster, having four pairs. Chromosomes, pairs in diploid organisms are homologous chromosomes. One member of each pair is inherited from each parent. Chromosomes that have different genes and do not pair are non-homologous chromosomes. Animals and some plants have male and female cells with distinct chromosome sets. Due to sex, chromosomes, one sex has much pair. For example, human females with XX and the other has an unmatched pair, human male with, with XY. Autosomes are chromosomes other than sex chromosomes. Now, there are two types of human chromosomes. We have autosomes and sex chromosomes. Autosomes contain genes that code for traits unrelated to the sex of the individual. Somatic cells or non-sex cells have 22 pairs or 44 of these. And the sex chromosomes contain genes that code for the sex of the individual as well as the other traits. Somatic cells have one pair or two of these. We have XY for the male and XX for the female. A sex chromosome is a type of chromosome that participates in sex determination. Humans and most other mammals have two sex chromosomes, the X and the Y. Females have two complementary sex chromosomes, XX, and males have two non-complementary sex chromosomes, the XY. The Y chromosome is much smaller than X. It carries a small number of genes, most of which are for male characteristics. All human eggs contain X chromosome. The X chromosome contains genes that code for all aspects of femaleness and genes unrelated to gender, including genes for vision and immunity. Again, there are two types of sex chromosome with names that are very easy to remember, the X chromosome and the Y chromosome. Females have two chromosomes in their cells, while males have both X and Y chromosomes in their cells. Egg cells all contain X chromosome, while sperm cell contain an X or Y chromosome. Now, does this set of chromosomes come from a male or a female? Yes, you're correct, male. Now, what kind of sex chromosomes are there in person sex cell? Correct, X, Y chromosomes. Now, which parent does a baby boy inherit its Y chromosome from? Let's find out. A sex determination system is a biological system that determines the development of sexual characteristics in an organism. Most sexual organisms have two sexes, the XX-XY sex determination system. It is the most familiar sex determination system as it is found in human beings most other mammals as well as some insects. Each chromosome has replicated to form two identical strands or chromatids. The area linking the chromatid is the centromere. The sex chromosomes inherited during fertilization determine a person's gender. Males have an X and Y chromosome, while females have two copies of the X chromosome. The Y chromosome carries instructions for the development of male characteristics. The sex chromosomes are one pair of 23 pairs present in most cells, body, which contain the DNA necessary for growth and development. The sex of an individual is determined by the sex chromosomes contributed to the zygote by the sperm of the egg. 
Sex determination in biology is a system which decides the sexual characteristics of an organism or offspring. It helps to determine whether the organism will be male or female, which are the two most common sexes. The widely used technique is chromosomal sex determination, in which sex chromosome of male, for example, X or Y chromosome, decides the sex or gender of the offspring. It is also possible to perform genetic tests to eliminate any chromosomal or genetic disorders. Sex determination is the genetic process of determining the sex of the organism. Let us study in more detail about this. Female gamete egg has the X sex chromosome, and male gamete sperms can have either X or Y sex chromosome. So 50% of the total sperms produced have the X sex chromosomes, and another 50% have the Y sex chromosome. At the time of fertilization, egg having 22 autosomes plus X chromosome can be fertilized by a sperm having either 22 autosomes plus X chromosome or 22 autosomes plus Y chromosomes. Whether a person has XX or XY chromosomes is determined when a sperm fertilizes an egg. Unlike the body, other cells, the cells in the egg and sperm, called gametes or sex cells, possess only one chromosome. Gametes are produced by meiosis cell division, which results in the divided cells having half the number of chromosomes as the parent. In the case of humans, this means that parent cells have two chromosomes and gametes have one. All of the gametes in the mother's eggs possess X chromosomes. The father's sperm contains about half X and half Y chromosomes. Therefore, all the offspring inherit an X chromosome from the mother. If the child inherits the X chromosome from the father, then the child will be girl. If the child inherits the Y chromosome from the father, then the child will be a boy. So scientifically, sex of a baby is determined by the father and not the mother. Females in humans have two X chromosomes. One each is inherited from either parent and denoted as XX. Males in humans have one X and one Y chromosome, where the X is inherited from the mother and Y from the father. In a way, we can say that it is the father who determines the sex of the unborn child. This can put to shame a lot of history in which people believe it is the woman who was responsible for not giving birth to a male hair. We can also say that the absence of the Y chromosome makes the individual a female. Let's remember, in the process of reproduction, a male sperm and a woman's egg each contributes one sex chromosome. A child's gender, male or female, is determined by the number of chromosomes that the male parent contributes. Females have XX sex chromosomes. Males have XY sex chromosomes. A male infant results if the male contributes his Y chromosome, while a female infant results if he contributes his X chromosome. At the time of spermatogenesis in males, both types of gametes are produced, one carrying the X chromosome and one carrying the Y. At the time of fertilization, the sex of the resulting zygote will depend on which gamete of the father will fuse with the X of the mother. The zygote containing two sets of 23 chromosomes for the required 46. We can therefore say that there is a 50% chance that the child will be a male and 50% that it can be a female. Most species of animals and plants carry a pair of chromosomes that determine the individual sex. These are called sex chromosomes. All other chromosomes are called autosoma. Let's apply. To gain more understanding of the lesson, this activity is provided for you. Read and analyze them well so that you will arrive on the right answer. Write your answer in your notebook. Procedure, study the Punnett square and complete the statements. Number one, the sex of the child produced is blank if the egg is fertilized by an X-bearing sperm. Number two, 
The sex of the child produced is blank if the egg is fertilized by a Y-bearing sperm. Number three, the blank sex chromosome is present in both male and female. Number four, there is blank percent chance of having male child. And number five, the blank sex chromosome determines the person's sex. So that's the end of our lesson. I hope you learned something new today. Read your module and answer the questions appropriately. Watch out for the next video lesson in science. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This has been your teacher, Rosalie Custodio, saying learning science is fun, cool, and awesome. Until next time, students, have a nice day!